Hey everyone, Gigi here with Spirit Readings and I want to say hello and welcome to everyone joining me here today. Um, this is going to be the weekly fortune cookies for Sunday, October 11th to Saturday, October 17th. Now, for each individual sign, you will get a message from the board. And this week, our message is, ooh, tree messages coming in there. So we'll have tree messages. We will have a tea leaf message and a fortune cookie message. And I will get those timestamps up as soon as I possibly can for you guys. Um, you know, please keep in mind that there are so many of us, so not everything may resonate, and that's perfectly okay. You know, if it doesn't apply, go on ahead and let her fly, you guys. This is an intuitive reading, so if something doesn't fit, if something doesn't feel right to your spirit, you know, just accept, you know what, hey, it doesn't fit, it doesn't feel right, it's not working for me personally, and I'm just going to let it go. You know, there's absolutely no sense in stressing yourself out or making yourself feel bad by trying to force things to fit, feel right, and work when they simply just don't, you know, woo saw right on out the door with that mess. All right, okay. So up first, we will have a few messages that are for every single person before we dive in to each individual sign. And at the end, there will also be more messages that are for every single person. Um, and I will get those timestamps up as soon as possible. So for this week, you guys, our angelic message, what our guides and our angels want us to know, we have the King of Swords coming in here. So keep your mind and eyes open. It may lead you down the path to wisdom. You know, sometimes we have difficulty, you know, accepting things when they can't be proven. You know, our faith is tested, right? So, you know, but we can be very adept in our problem solving skills with rational objective thinking and making good and fair decisions. Okay, you know, kings are concerned with leadership and are often related to foundation and structure. And the King of Swords is that air element, you guys. So, um, and air, you know, that's Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. Air is also the power of the mind. So, you know, really check in with yourself and your thoughts, you know. All right, up next we have life's changes and we have leaving here. And, you know, usually when we think about leaving, you know, it's romantic relationships that are the first thing that come to mind, like I'm leaving my significant other, you know. But this is also about leaving toxic situations as well as toxic people, you know. So it could be you know, that work environment that you are in that each day just leaves you drained each morning or whenever you don't, you, you know, you wake up, you have that ball in the pit of your stomach and you don't even want to go or certain places where you just feel and you're like, I, I can't do it no more, you know. Now, it can be something different for each and every single one of us. So, you know, Leaving can be hard, hard as hell, you know, and it doesn't have to be done all at once. It can be gradual. Now, you know, talk it over with your guides and your angels and see what's best for you in your situation. You know, in some situations, it may be, no, we got to pull up stakes and leave now. You know, there are some, ooh, and I got chills saying that. So hopefully no one is finding themselves in that type of situation. I mean, I've been there when my first husband and I split. You know, it was an immediate, I have to get out of here and it has to be now my life is at stake, you know. So, whew, my goodness, hopefully that doesn't apply to you, but 
you know, things can be gradual as we can handle them. You know, that's why it's very important to check in with your team of people. And, you know, this could be you leaving your negative thoughts behind as well. You know, you're the king. You're the master of your thoughts. You are in control of them. They are not in control of you. Yes. Thank you, spirit. Woo. Slapping us with some truth today. All right, flower power. We have the calla lily here for rejuvenation, reawaken, and then stand stronger. You know, you like me may need to go within, you guys. I have been going hermit, like in and out of hermit mode so much this year, like more than I think any other time in my life probably. You know, everything that we need, we find within ourselves. You know, sometimes we need to disconnect for a bit, you know, get off of social media, you know, or whatever, you know, for a bit to just refresh and rejuvenate ourselves. I have to do it, you know, or just totally disconnect for a little bit and give myself that time to rebuild. And, you know, I find when I do come back, you know, I'm, I'm coming back with that laser focus ready to tackle things and I see things clearly and I think better. And I'm also able to stand stronger in my truth, you guys. So, you know, sometimes we need that downtime to refresh, rejuvenate, restore, recharge our batteries so that we are reawakened yes all right love it thank you spirit so much for these messages for this week they were beautiful and wonderful and amazing all right are we ready to dive in to each individual sign first off we will start with aries here all right, Spirit, for this week up ahead, what is the tree message for Aries? What is it that they need to know? All right, we have the cedar tree coming in. All right, give me just a moment for the message to arrive. And I want to say hello and welcome. Why am I always rude to you guys and forget <laughs> to say hello and welcome? Probably because you're first and I'm, I, I do get a little nervous, so... Let me calm myself. <laughs> okay, you guys, so the cedar tree, it represents confidence, Aries. So, you know, take this week as a time to really tap into your own inner fire, you know, really stoke up your confidence. Now, this doesn't mean to be arrogant, however. Yes, Spirit is saying, no, no, we don't want to be right. Nope, we don't want to be arrogant. So, <laughs> woo, all right. Now, your tea leaf message, we do have the ram showing up here, which is a stubborn, aggressive person. So, you know, when I see this card, I automatically think of your energy here, Aries. You know, now this could be you being this way. Uh, someone close to you or even both of you are being stubborn and aggressive, you know. But if someone doesn't give nothing will ever get resolved you guys so you know it, it could be you're you're beating your own head against a brick wall pretty much <laughs> Woo, like uh, a power play of who is the most stubborn and you lose track of what's right or wrong you know and and we don't want to do that okay fortune cookie we do have twists and turns coming in here so um, carefully made plans could be thrown right out the window as major changes and interruptions surround you, you know, make sure you get lots of rest to cope with all of this upheaval, you know, really check in with yourself here as well. Has your confidence turned into that arrogant pride to the point that you have been too stubborn to change or see things from anyone else's perspective and point of view, you know, um, really got to check in with yourself there. All right, Aries, I hope you guys have an amazing week up ahead. Please leave me a comment and let me know. All right, thank you. Okay, up next we have Taurus. Hello and welcome, Taurus. 
All right, Spirit, what is Taurus's tree message for this week up ahead? And we have the chestnut tree. All right, give me just a moment while this message comes in, you guys. Okay, so, you know, the chestnut tree, it represents justice, Taurus. So, um, justice is going to be on your side this week, you know. But if you want to see true justice, you must also be fair and just in all of your ways and in all of your dealings as well. You know, it, it, it's still... How is spirit putting this? It's still going to be based on what you are putting out into the environment as well. So be mindful, okay? All right, tea leaf message. We had career showing up for you. This is one of the astral houses of the tea leaf card. So um, what I'm getting here is, you know, there are chances for advancement here. Really buckle down and focus on what you're doing and put forth your best efforts each and every single day, you guys. And, you know, I see you doing that. You know, you guys are hard workers, but you, you need to be appreciated. You need to be valued and, you know, take pride in what you're doing. You know, really show, you know... You can promote me. I'm trustworthy. I deserve this promotion, this raise. Okay. All right. Your fortune cookie message. We have signs coming in here now. So um, your future positive direction will reveal itself. Any doubts and confusions will soon disappear. Um, you know, it may seem like things are at a dead end sometimes, but there are some positive changes on the horizon that will soon have your doubts and confusions melting away. Trust and believe. Yes, you guys. Wow, amazing right there. All right, Taurus, I hope you guys have a wonderful week up ahead. Please leave me a comment and let me know. I love hearing from you guys. All right, thank you so much. Okay, up next we have Gemini here. Hello and welcome. All right, Spirit, for this week up ahead, what is the tree message for Gemini? What do they need to know here? And we have the ash tree coming in here. Spirit did a little boogie there for you guys. Not sure what that was about, but alrighty. Alright. Take a moment for this message to come on in here. So, okay, you know, the ash tree, it represents stability, Gemini. So, you know, um, this week it's a time for you to find stability first within yourself, you know, and you know, it could be as simple as affirming each and every day that I am stable in my mind and in my heart and in all of my ways, you know. Start really claiming that for yourself. Yes, all right, beautiful, wonderful, amazing. All right, tea leaf. We have the finger here warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. You know, you are being warned ahead of time so that you can plan for this and be stable before it blows on in here, you know, because you don't want to be a uh, sucker punched in your bread basket and knocked off your feet, you know, you want to be prepared for this ahead of time. All right, your fortune cookie, we do have planning coming in here. So see there, it's all working together. Now is the time to lay down the foundations for your future financial gains are more than likely you know make sure you are saving back here you know your energy as well as your pentacles you know that you have some in reserve for when you need it you guys plan ahead for that rainy day and you know like my friend said last week we can have rainy days when there's no rain 
in sight, you know, it happens sometimes. So we always have to be prepared, you guys. All right, Jim and I, I hope you guys have an amazing week up ahead. Please leave me a comment and let me know. I love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much. All righty, up next we have Cancer coming in here. All right. For this week up ahead, Spirit for Cancer, what is their tea? What is their tea leaf? What is their tree message? What do they need to know here? Okay, we have the elm tree coming in here. Taking a minute, make sure I'm getting the full message here, you guys. Okay, so the elm tree, it represents shadows, Cancer, and um, in my mind's eye, uh, Spirit started showing me your tarot card, the chariot, you know, with you being in control of both your light and your dark sides, you know, you taking hold of the reins, you know, to be, to really be in the light, you will first have to embrace the shadow side of yourself. Yes, spirit is saying, you know, you have, you know, you can't be truly light without going through your dark, without you know, embracing that side of yourself as well. And we all have a light side and we all have a shadow side, you guys. So, yes, indeed. All right, tea leaf. We have camel here. And this is to per persevere and you will overcome problems. You know, just like the camel is built for the desert, you are also built to handle your surroundings, to handle what's going on in your life. You know, keep going, Cancer. You are going to arrive at the place you are meant to and it will be at the right time. Yes, trust and believe there, you guys. All right, your fortune cookie, we have intuition. Trust your intuition. It's a great time to learn a new skill, change careers, or invest money. And you know what? You're going to know what you are meant to do here, and you're going to keep persevering. And, you know, it's, it's going to pay off. You know, trust and believe, you guys, that, you know, whatever I put forth today, Whatever I'm sowing here today, I'm going to eventually reap. Yes, beautiful, wonderful right there. All right, Cancer, I hope you guys have a wonderful week up ahead. Please leave me a comment and let me know. I love hearing from you guys. Okay, all right, up next we have Leo in the house. Hello and welcome, tribe. All right. Spirit, for this week up ahead for Leo, what is our tree message? What do we need to know here? Oh my goodness, hey, hey, my favorite tree. It's the laurel tree, you guys, yes. Taking a moment just to let the message fully come in here. Okay, you know, the laurel tree, you guys, it's one of my favorite. It represents victory, Leo. So, you know, if you're like me, you know, it feels like we have been at battle or at war, you know, for a very, very long time now. And, you know, it hasn't been in vain, you know, at all. You know, remember that you are already victorious. The laurel tree wants to remind you of that. And that victory is indeed yours. Yes. All right. Beautiful. Wonderful. Love it. Gave me chills a little bit there. Woo. All right. Tea leaf. We do have the desk showing up here. Pay attention to your work. Don't let things, you know, slip because you are in a hurry to get it done. Now, this is whatever you put your hand, heart, and mind to is what spirit is also wanting to bring forth as well, you know, because you may not be at an actual physical job anymore, that nine to five, you know, so you may be doing gardening, you may be doing little side projects or, you know, whatever it is, but, you know, don't be in such a hurry to get it done, you know, really pay attention, take your time and build your empire to last, you guys, yes. 
All right, our fortune cookie. We have health coming up here. So an excellent time to start an exercise program or diet. Many new friendships are on the horizon. Now, don't shoot me, you guys. I am just a messenger. And you know, this message is for me as well. So we're, we're in this together, yo. Um, you know, we, we need to take control of things like our health. You know, when we are building our empires and taking care of everyone else, we tend to neglect ourselves. You know, I know I have. So, I mean, for me, this isn't a bad idea at all. You know, I, all right, spirit, <laughs> I'm listening. All right, you guys, I hope we have an amazing week up ahead. Leo, please leave me a message and let me know. I love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much. All righty, up next we have Virgo. Hello and welcome, Virgo. All right, spirit, for this week up ahead, what is the tree message from Virgo? What is it that they need to know here, spirit? All right, we have the willow tree coming in here. So take a moment, just make sure the whole message is coming in loud and clear. Okay, um, but the willow tree, it represents healing Virgo. So, you know, we often think of the weeping willow when we think of this tree. I know I do. So, um, our tears, they can be very healing, you know, um, whatever it is that you are experiencing, know that healing will come to you, okay, acknowledge your feelings and let them flow so that you can let them go, you know, this is breaking that, um, being tied down, being held back by the things that are breaking your own heart, hurting your own feelings, you know. So it's time to release. That's what I'm hearing here from Spirit as well, you guys. All right, tea leaf. We do have the cracked cup showing up here, which says dissatisfaction with life. So, you know, maybe you feel exactly like this cracked cup here. You know, instead of being mended, you were just tossed to the side of the road, abandoned and forgotten. You know, for a lot of you, this feels like exactly what it is that you need to heal from. You know, so that when a new relationship of any kind comes forward, you know, you're not, well, I'm the victim always. You know, you're not in that mindset. You've healed yourself. You know, you're not striking the first blow or pulling yourself back to keep from being hurt, you know. And that can take a while, Virgo, to heal from, especially if it's deeply rooted. So take your time. Let yourself heal. All right, fortune cookie. We do have love life coming in here. So affairs of the heart could cause future problems, but take heart as difficult situations will be resolved by a good decision this week. So, you know, whatever it is that you have been facing that is difficult and the plans that you have been making, you know, the decisions that you have been making, things will be resolved here by the week's end, you guys, you know, wow. For some of you, it's like, let me release that big sigh there. All right, Virgo, I hope you guys have an amazing week up ahead. Please leave me a comment and let me know. I love hearing from you guys. I had to get me a drink there real quick all this talking all right up next we have libra hello and welcome libra all right spirit for libra this week what is their tree message what is it they need to know here Ooh, okay we have the maple tree coming in Just taking a minute there, you guys, to make sure I'm getting the full message. 
Okay, um, the maple tree is also one of my favorites, you guys. It represents prosperity, Libra. So, you all, you, if you're like me, you're like, oh yeah. <laughs> so, abundance is shining on you here. You know, make sure you're open to receive all of these blessings coming your way. And, you know, it may be time to clear some new space for all of this as well, you know, out with the old so that the new is able to come in. It's able to bless you. You prosper. You grow. You're abundant. You're successful. Ooh, alrighty, man. I feel like I'm on fire now. <laughs> All right. Our tea leaf message. We have the wheel coming in here for indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. So, oh my goodness, you guys. I am seeing this as a warning to get yourself back in gear and take hold of the will of your life to set it back on course, okay? You know, this isn't you letting anyone else take hold of your will. You know, it's it's about you being in control and in charge of your own destiny, okay? You may be floating in the breeze aimlessly right now, but it's time to get a direction and go where you are being guided. You know, this is steering yourself back, you guys. You may have gotten off the path, but you know what? You're you're able to turn it around here once you're aware of things, you guys. You know, you're able to make the necessary changes. Yes. All right. Your fortune cookie. We have manifestations. A bountiful time awaits you. Your wishes could manifest right before your eyes. So, you know, this is why it's so important to be ready here. You know, these things are coming and um, they're all things that you have manifested for yourself. So, wow. Always be aware of how strong of a manifester you are, okay? That's coming in loud and clear, you know. Don't doubt. Trust and believe. Yes. All right, Libra. I hope you guys have an amazing week up ahead. Please leave me a comment and let me know. I love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much. All right. Up next, we have Scorpio. Ooh, hello and welcome, Scorpio. All right, Spirit, for this week ahead, what is the tree message for Scorpio? What is it they need to know here? And we have the beech tree coming in here. All right, okay. Take it a moment, just letting the message fully come in here. The beech tree is another one of my favorites, you guys. Um, the, because the beech tree represents happiness here, Scorpio. So, you know, maybe you haven't felt very happy in a long time, you know. Maybe you paste a smile on your face, but, you know, it's not going deeper than skin. You know, and spirit is wanting you to know that happiness is a choice that we make for ourselves each and every day. So, you know what? Practice inviting happiness in each day this week as soon as your eyes pop open for the day. Yes, you know, like... Hello, good morning, happiness, hello, joy. I'm inviting you in, inviting you in to stay with me for this 24-hour period. Um, you know, no matter what happens, no matter what this day throws at me, may I feel that happiness, may I feel that joy bubbling up within me and still choose to be happy. Woo, all right, Scorpio, wow. You know, wow, okay. <laughs> Your tea leaf message. We do have the tree showing up here. Affairs with your family. So, you know, for some of you, these affairs are really affecting your happiness and not for the better. You know, when our loved ones were sick, you know, it can be a lot. You know, it can really weigh on us heavily. You know, we may be worried about is is this the end coming up for this loved one? Oh my goodness, I about choked there a little bit for some reason. 
um, you know, but you can still choose to be happy here, you guys, even in the midst of everything, you know, and some things are going to be harder to be happy, you know, to really um, choose to be happy about, but... Ooh, Spirit's letting you know you can do it if you put your mind to it. All right, fortune cookie. We do have friendship coming up here. A friend needs your help. Your kindness and excellent counseling skills will put them back on track. You hold the answers that this person seeks. Um, you know, my grandma was a Scorpio, you guys. She was very important to me and she always had the best advice and you know she was my safe place in this world in this life and you know I feel like that you are that to someone in your life as well you know you're that backbone you're that glue holding it all together all right Scorpio I hope you guys have a wonderful week up ahead please leave me a comment and let me know I love hearing from you guys thank you so very much all right up next we have Sagittarius all right hello and welcome Sagittarius Spirit, what is the tree message for Sagittarius this week up ahead? And we have the walnut tree coming in here. Giving me just a minute here to make sure I'm getting the full message, you guys. So the walnut tree, it represents attraction, Sagittarius. And you know, like attracts like. So even our shadow sides are attracting as well. And you know, you can be attracting good things to yourself here too. Be mindful of your thoughts. Be mindful of your feelings because you know that all goes out and brings in those energies that we ourselves are projecting. So that's why it's important to always be mindful and truthful with ourselves. All right, our tea leaf, we have the well showing up here. Family wishes come true. Hey, hey, you know, so these wishes, they are beneficial to you and to your family, and they are coming at a time when they are most needed. You guys, that's what I'm hearing there loud and clear from spirit. Like things have been kind of rocky road, topsy-turvy here, you know, and it's been something that involves your whole family. And so your whole family needs this wish to come through, come true because it's going to benefit each and every single one of you. And wow, that is amazing right there. All right, fortune cookie, we have sexuality coming in here. Existing relationships could find a new passion and heightened sexual attraction. Opportunities for marriage and good family life are strong. But if you're single, beware of temptation. You know, that could lead to trouble. A child will also bring great joy. Now, you know, this doesn't have to be your child or that a child is coming. You know, if you're like, mm, I ain't having children, GG. <laughs> you know, um, it could be nieces, nephews, godchildren, you know bring in some joy in so there's lots going on here you guys you know if things have felt like they are waning the fire is about to be stoked you know there are lots of amazing opportunities coming into view now but beware of temptations because they like to sneak up on us and lead us astray so you know when that comes up and whispers in your ear are you going to be led astray are you going to be like nope Mm -mm, not today not today all right Sagittarius I hope you guys have a wonderful week up ahead please leave me a comment and let me know I love hearing from you guys thank you so much all right up next we have Capricorn hello and welcome Capricorn all right, spirit for Capricorn this week up ahead. What is their tree message? What is it they need to know here? Where are you going? Oh, 
Okay, we have the holly tree. I was not sure what was going on there for a minute. Spirit, what the heck? <laughs> All right, you guys. Just giving a minute for the message to fully come in. So, um, the holly tree, it represents wisdom, Capricorn. So, you know, this isn't being you know, so wise in your own eyes that you aren't willing to accept others' points of view or to even listen to what they have to say, you know. Um, what? I'm feeling that we gonna do things my way, it's my way or the highway, you know. <laughs> and that's not always the best, Capricorn, even though it seems like it. But, whoo, okay, you know, um, Wisdom wants to take you on a special journey here. You know, you're you're about to expand. You're about to grow here is what I'm getting. All right, tea leaf. We have a dragon showing up here. So beware of self-delusion. So, you know, this is again warning you to be very aware of yourself. Recognize your own faults and your own flaws. You know, now don't beat yourself up with them. But just be very real, very clear, very honest with yourself here, guys. Okay? Yes. All right. Fortune cookie. We have future. So you may travel or host an overseas traveler soon. Either way, great social fun awaits. Now, for the majority, this travel is going on that journey with wisdom. Okay? And you may travel over the seas of time. So be open here, you guys, you know, to wherever your arrow points, wherever this journey is going to take you. All right, Capricorn, I hope you guys have an amazing week up ahead. Please leave me a message and let me know. I love hearing from you guys. All right, up next we have Aquarius. Hello and welcome Aquarius. So Spirit, what is their tree message for this week up ahead? What is it that Aquarius needs to know? Okay, we have the ash tree coming through here. Taking a moment to make sure I'm getting the full message here, you guys. So, um, the ash tree, it does represent stability, Aquarius. So, you know, start within yourself here first is what I'm getting loud and clear. You know, when you really struggle, it's hard to rein yourself in. But when you start to really practice ways of getting yourself stable, you're able to get yourself there quicker and quicker. You know, um, maybe it's hard for you to make up your mind sometimes is what I'm getting here. Um, you feel foggy. You don't feel very clear. You don't feel very stable. But, you know, there are things that you can do to help yourself here, you guys. All right. You have a tea leaf message. You, we have the dark woman. My words, you guys, are just getting twisted. So this is dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. And I really feel like for some of you, you know, she is a driving force in your life. And, you know, she really helps you when you do struggle the most. You know, don't take this relationship for granted, you guys. Make sure you're showing this dark woman in your life, you know, I appreciate you. I appreciate you for sticking by me when I am not my best when I'm struggling the most. You're you're still there, you know. Wow, you guys. All right. Fortune cookie, we have burnout here. So, you know, your hard work will see results, but your health needs to be maintained, you know. So, check in with your doctor, dentist, and health professional and try to maintain a healthy lifestyle. And you know, this totally includes your mental health and well-being as well. You know, there's no shame in getting help when you need to, you guys. The shame comes when you know you need help and you refuse because your pride wells up. You know, you don't want to look weak. 
you know, but you got to put yourself and your well-being and your health first here. That's coming in loud and clear. All right, Aquarius, I hope you guys have an amazing week up ahead. Please leave me a comment and let me know. I love hearing from you guys. All righty, Pisces, it is your turn. All right. For this week up ahead, Spirit, what is the tree message for Pisces? What do they need to know here? And we have the beech tree coming in. Okay. Giving myself a minute just to make sure the full message is coming in, you guys. So... Um, the beech tree, it's one of my favorites. It does, it represents happiness, uh, Pisces. So, you know, things come up in our lives sometimes that seem to just rip the joy right on out of us. And, you know, happiness is a choice. And um, even when these things come, you can still choose to be happy. You know, it's not ignoring what's happened or even your own feelings on it. You know, it's fully acknowledging it and dealing with it and still choosing to be happy. Yes. All right. Wow. All right. Your tea leaf message. We have the broken bridge coming in here. Unsuccessful outcome to a problem. So, you know, this will be one of those times that it will be harder to choose happiness, but spend positives for yourself as well. You know, maybe these plans not working out was a huge blessing in disguise and something better is on the way for you. You know, had this thing happened um the way you were planning you know it, it probably wouldn't have brought you the happiness that you think it would have so bigger and better is on the way all right fortune cookie we have a society here say yes to all the wonderful invitations coming your way Excellent networking opportunities and new love interests for singles will be the result. Um, you know, so by saying yes to these things, you are led to say yes to, you open yourself up to new possibilities. You know, there are many wonderful opportunities in store for you. So don't worry. Be happy, you guys. That's what's coming in loud and clear there. All right, Pisces, I hope you guys have a wonderful week up ahead. Please leave me a comment and let me know. I love hearing from you guys. Thank you so very much. All right. Now, this, these next few messages are going to be for all of us. So, Spirit, is there anything else that we need to know about this week up ahead? Yes. All right, Spirit, what is this message? What do we need to know about this week up ahead? Trust your intuition. And really listen to the messages that are coming in. You know, sometimes other people, they're real quick, you know, to tell us how we should live our lives. Well, you know, while their own is in shambles, while they're not taking the advice that they're being given. And, you know, that's why it's so important to be truly in tune with your star player. Stop worrying so much about what other people think or have to say. You know, if you're doing what you're meant to do, if you're on your right path, shake them haters off, you guys. You know, woo, all right. Spirit, is there anything else that we need to know here? No. All right. Spirit, for this week up ahead, angel number four, five, six. All right. Angel number 456. So, um, you know, you guys, you may want to Google this and see where spirit leads you. I'm going to see if I myself, if my phone will cooperate. I have issues with it sometimes. So angel number four, five, six. 
Okay. Um, is a message. This is where spirit is leading me here. Is a message from your guardian angels confirming you are moving forward in life, going in the right direction. Oh my goodness, how wonderful and amazing is that? All right, you guys, I hope that we all have an, have an amazing and wonderful week up ahead. Please leave me a comment and let me know. I love hearing from you guys. Um, I do take the time to read through all the comments and respond and answer any questions that there may be. If you enjoyed this reading, please smash the heck out of that like button, that old thumbs up button. Give it the old razzle dazzle pizzazzle there. Um, and please uh, subscribe if you feel led to. I would absolutely love and appreciate that so very much. I love seeing growth. I love seeing expansion. And I love being able to interact with you guys. It really does bring a lot of joy into my life. You guys are a blessing for me. And I want to be a blessing for you in return. And um, if you do decide to subscribe, make sure you tap that bell icon so you get the ding ding when I upload new content. And please share because that does help me grow. That does help me get out there. You guys are so wonderful and so amazing. And I love each and every single one of you. And from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you. Blessed be. Namaste and goodbye.